for your light shines alone in the darkness and your brightness leads me on in the Lord is my hope in the Lord is my help he's my shield and my strength Deep gratitude and deep faith. Let's begin this celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, the church was increasing in numbers. The word of God was being proclaimed. <clears throat> Many people would believe. And... Jesus, God, was making themselves present in the community, in their lives. So ask the Lord to help us to have deep faith so that we may experience the presence of Jesus in our lives. And to prepare ourselves for this celebration, let's call to mind all our sins and failures whereby we have offended God and each other. And let's prepare ourselves to ask pardon of them all. <coughs> I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts, in my words, in what, what I have done and what, what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who restore human nature to yet greater dignity than at its beginnings. Look upon the amazing mystery of your loving kindness and in those you have chosen to make new to the wonder of rebirth. May you preserve the gifts of your enduring grace and blessing to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul and his company set sail from Paphos and came to Perga in Pamphylia. And John left them and returned to Jerusalem, but they passed on from Perga and came to Antioch of Pisidia. On, on the Sabbath day, they went into the synagogue and sat down. After the reading of the law and the prophets, the rulers of the synagogue sent to them, saying, Brethren, you have, if you have any word of exhortation for the people, say it. So Paul stood up and motioning with his hand said, Men of Israel and you that fear God, Listen, the God of this people, Israel, chose our fathers and made the people great during their stay in the land of Egypt. And with uplifted arm, he led them out of it. And for about 40 years, he bore with them in the wilderness. And when he had destroyed seven nations, in the land of Cana, he gave them their land as an inheritance. In about 450 years, 
and after that he gave them judges until Samuel the prophet. Then they asked for a king, and God gave them Saul, the son of Kish, a man of the tribe of Benjamin, for forty years. And when he had removed him, he raised up David to be their king, of whom he testified and said, I have found in David, the son of Jesse, a man after my heart, who will do all my will. Of this man's posterity, God has brought to Israel a savior, Jesus, as he promised. Before his coming, John had preached a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was finishing his course, he said, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. No, but after me, one is coming, the sandals of whose feet I am not worthy to untie. The word of God. Thanks be to God. Let your response to the psalm be, I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Please repeat. I will, I will sing, sing forever, forever of your love, love, O Lord. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Through all ages, my mouth will proclaim your truth. Of this, I am sure, that your love lasts forever, that your truth is firmly established as the heavens. Your response? I, I will, will sing, sing forever, forever of, of your, your love, love O Lord. Lord. I have found David, my servant, and with my holy oil anointed him. My hand shall always be with him, and my arm shall make him strong. Your response? I, I will, will sing, sing forever, forever of, of your, your love, love o, Lord. o Lord. My truth and my love shall be with him. By my name, his might shall be exalted. He will say to me, You are my Father, my God, the rock who saves me. Your response? I will no. sing, sing forever, forever of your, of love, your love, O Lord. O Lord. Kindly rise for acclamation. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah to the Christ, who has created all things, has risen. He had pity upon mankind. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah to the The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, o Lord. When he had washed the feet of his disciples, Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is he who is sent greater than he who sent him. If you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. I am not speaking of you all. I know whom I have chosen. It is that the scripture may be fulfilled. He who ate my bread has lifted his heel against me. I tell you this now, before it takes place, that when it does take place, you may believe that I am He. Truly, truly, I say to you, 
he who receives anyone whom i have sent receives me and he who receives me receives him who sent me the gospel of the lord praise to the lord jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters we need to thank the people of israel and in fact paul praise israelites when he had opportunity when the a leader of the synagogue invited anyone to say something to the community paul took this opportunity to praise that people he praised them he said how god chose people led them to the desert for 40 years destroyed seven races seven people to give them the promised land the land of cana where milk and uh, honey was flowing and how god chose yet they killed him to fulfill the scriptures my dear friends we should not curse the people those who have gone to the land of israel they must have seen how jesus was crucified and all those things but we need to really thank god for choosing this people and we need to thank the people who are accepting not as a messiah as jesus they never believed him as messiah they believed in jesus son of joseph and mary yet jesus had to carry on the plan of god of salvation to save us he saved us and my dear friends while thank the people what are we doing are we doing the same what israelites did or are we doing something different whatever it may be jesus wants us to do something really different not the same but to do something different he says anyone who receives me receives the one who sent me and this will prove that i am he in the old testament when moses was accosted with that burning bush god said moses stop take out your shoes and then approach me you are in a holy land holy place he said who are you i am he go and tell the egyptians that i am he who has sent you and this is the same i am he that's what jesus said i say to you i tell you this now before it takes place that when it does take place you may believe that i am he my dear friends my dear brothers and sisters thank the lord thank the israelites and let us the lord to give us this experience which he gave the israelites jesus lived there he proclaimed the word of god he worked miracles he was one of them and today he is with us he is one of us he is with us today let us ask the lord to give us this experience of his presence in our lives i am he he is dwelling in us he is there with us he is accompany us and he cannot tell lies nor when he can miss his word we cannot forget his word i will be with you till the end of the times i am he he is there with us he is dwelling in us just the lord today to give us this holy spirit to give this gift of his presence in our lives that i am he dwelling in us in bread we bring you lord our bodies labor in wine we offer you our spirits grieve we do not ask you But 
God stand united now, one in belief. Oh, we have gladly heard your word, your holy word, and now in answer, Lord, our gifts we Selfish hearts may prove our failing faith renew. Our lives belong to you, our Lord and King. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice and these gifts may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord, the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. May your prayers rise up to you, Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings so that purified by your graciousness we may be confirmed to the mysteries of your mighty love to Christ O oh Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, O God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed, through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they claim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down His Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving you thanks 
that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Philip Neri, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co as to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord is good. While we thank the Lord and the Israelites, whom he had given this gift of his son's presence in their lives, he is giving us as well, asking for this gift, that I am he, may be always present in our lives and that we may experience his presence that all of us say together the same prayer our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other the same peace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, to your death, give life to the world, free us by this, your most holy body and blood, from all our sins, and from every evil, keep us always faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under my roof but only but say the say word, word and my and soul, soul shall be healed. You give us rebirth, Father so loving, magnificent gold, generous giver, Beneficent Lord, you call us your children, you call us your friends, we call you our joy, we 
call you a strength Father so loving Magnificent God Generous giver Beneficent Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ. Increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and to experience His presence in our lives. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. We have come into His house and gathered in We have come into his house and gathered in his name to worship him. We have come into his house and gathered in his name to worship Christ the Lord. Worship him. Jesus Christ the Lord Let's forget about ourselves And concentrate on Him And worship Him Let's forget about ourselves And concentrate on Him And worship Him Let's forget about ourselves and concentrate on Him and worship Christ the Lord. Worship Him, Jesus Christ the Lord.